the last few days? Uh, it was amazing. It was like almost like I never left. And it's uh, just amazing seeing how far just everything around the campus has come, especially like the Cook Hall, Assembly Hall. It's just been, it's been terrific to see just how much time and effort they put into it. And I'm really happy for the young guys coming up. When I was Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> uh, just, there's nothing like just getting ready for a game and just the candy stripes you see, just the sea of uh, green crimson and the, and the fans, it's just amazing. Marcus, how do you feel about the team you guys put together and just your chance of making fun of this thing? Uh, I feel great. I mean, as you can see, just like it's a lot of our times, first times playing together, I mean, there's some like um, blending of generations, whether that be like Troy Yogi with me, me with Race and Devontae. And then the other guys that have come in as well, um, who have played in TBT before, are just kind of integrating us in the way to play. But overall, I think we just, we have great as great a chance as anybody. How do you go about kind of being in the middle there of those two races like we talked about? Uh, the same way. Tell everybody they can't guard me and go from there. Jordan, you're obviously not a IU guy, but just uh, kind of integrating with this group. It's been fantastic. I mean, first of all, like this is my first time being in Bloomington, seeing how you obviously Assembly Hall being one of the most historic venues in, in basketball period. Um, so it's been incredible hospitality, um, getting to know guys like J Mo, um, Yogi. I've known Jordan for a long time from playing basketball the season together and against each other. Um, but it's TBT is special, man. I mean, it gives you an opportunity to, to interact with people in this fan base that, you know, I went to Miami, so I never would have had that opportunity, but I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Did Yogi look a lot like the Yogi you remember from playing with him? Yeah. <laughs> just strong, fast, and makes shots that are insane just look normal. It's, it's, he's the same Yogi. <laughs> really, what were your impressions of this side fan base? Incredible. I mean, Showing up, I think we got here around six, and it was all red in the gym. I didn't even, I almost forgot we were at Butler. Um, but I mean, even if, you know, to be an hour away and to have all of these fans come out and support these guys and hearing the noise when you're running out of the tunnel, it kind of does give you that college feel again. Um, even as a non IU guy, I mean, I'm happy for them. I, I can only imagine what that feeling is to play back in front of your fans and you kind of feel like you're back at home and see a lot of old familiar faces. And you know, what better place to do it in a, a, a tournament where you have a chance to win a million dollars? Well, you guys play the, I guess, the Purdue based team tomorrow. Does that add a little more excitement? Kind of that rivalry aspect? Probably for them. <laughs> so that's just another game. We're just going to keep trying to win. You know, we just, like we said, then we just got to go 1 0 six times. And they just in the way right now. <laughs> in terms of like game prep, I know you guys practice this week. How much do you guys ever kind of get, get through sets? I mean, we kind of went through just a lot of general sets. Obviously, we weren't uh, at our best today, and we have to continue to be more organized. But, you know, this tournament is a process. Like, you are only together for about two and a half weeks total from start to finish. So us as professionals and as men with the mutual respect that we have for each other and our coaches, you know, every day we're going to get exponentially better. And to win, that means you guarantee yourself another opportunity to play again. And you can only be excited about that. Uh, I've played in this tournament maybe seven out of the 11 years. So I've seen pretty much everything all of these teams can, can throw at you. Uh, even men and Mackie, for instance, we played against them last year and we had a tough game against them. So, you know, you got to look forward to each of those opportunities in basketball and just, you know, take it a day at a time. Well, what's it been like just catching up and kind of saying what's up to a lot of these guys again this week? Oh, it's been great. I mean, like, we, we all still talk, you know, on and off throughout the years, just checking up with each other, you know, seeing each other on social media, you have, they have a good game or anything like that, but really just getting here and talking is it's hilarious, um, just talking about all the all the practices, all the times where we all wake up at 6 a.m. and ask each other if we really want to do this basketball thing. I think it's just, it, it's crazy because even guys like Julian, who, like you said, went to Miami, we all live the same life, regardless of where you're at, and it's just been uh, fun getting to know these guys and reconnecting with them. Immediately, it's like I mean, like out the gate, we we got to the practice and we ran through little plays, and then everybody was just chatting it up, and it was like we've been friends for ten years. Do one more. The news came out that you're gonna play overseas with Yogi next year. How did that all come about? Um, 
I honestly don't know. I didn't even know Yogi was in Montenegro at the time. But then I remember um, my agent was like, uh, a Euro Cup team is looking at you, and um, Yogi was there last year. So I reached out to Yogi and was just talking about it. And I was like, thinking of my best year at IU, like, just team-wise, was with Yogi. And it was just almost like, why not? I mean, that's a, it's a great chance to play with a great point guard again, and then also an amazing uh, competition overseas. Couldn't pass it up. Thanks, everybody.